How many in the room have ever ridden with Bradley in a fire truck on the way to a call? And still survive. And still survive, <laughs> whose heart beat through the whole thing. <laughs> so I'm, I'm coming down Long Hill in state police at that time. He put the blue light to me. And he said, uh, the normal thing, where's the fire? And I said, right there. And he said, Oh, okay. <laughs> I said, would you give me an escort to that fire? He says, you're doing all right. I'm going to I do remember the one day though when we the reach door fire, Dwayne and I had gone in, was ready to go up the stairs, and Brad stuck his head in, and he says, if I was you, I'd probably come over here right now. The whole second floor is it. Boom. Well, well, through the windows, and I said, that's it. We, we haven't got water enough, yeah. the manpower enough, to try and do something inside that old building. No. I can tell you a lot of stories being in the fire chief's squad. The fire alarm went off, up he went, turned on the light, and I said, Brad, that's my slip. Don't put that on. <laughs> Brad's badge, although I've never seen it. <laughs> that came from his father. Uh, so we thought that it would be very good if Brad would keep that. Probably I was in the eighth grade, and my dad and I were out. I was, there was a hurricane that night, and we were going down to the old wharfs and, and see the scene was tied up. And uh, we, we saw that, and we turned around to go either go home or go somewhere, and we saw this glow over towards South Boston. It was the old Gara going, but I, I squirted the hose and whatnot. Whether that got me hooked or I don't know. Oh, yeah. well, Brad, thank you. They wanted to put candles on his cake, but they couldn't get a burn for a minute. <laughs>